Right, this is uh, how to use um, Photoshop in order to get the Crabwood Alien face effect. Now down here we've got the, the Crabwood Alien, which is kind of here. Let me um, let me see if we've got another one which is untouched. Uh, no, there we go. This one's untouched. So we basically got um, the Crabwood Alien face. Now what we want to do is we want to recreate something that's similar to that. So up here we've got some Stanley, picture of Stanley, and we're using Photoshop uh, version seven. So let's get Stanley first. Let's put that out of the way. And Stanley, we're going to copy and create a new uh, a new area, and we're going to paste him in. So we've got a one we can look at. We can look at the one we before and after. Okay. So the after one. Let's increase the image size to two thousand pixels. Okay. And then we need to zoom back. Put him back to the same size. So now this this picture on the right has much more pic picture detail than this picture on the left. We're going to adjust desaturate, turn it black and white. We're going to adjust the brightness contrast which we do over here. Let's bring it into the into the screen. So we do the brightness contrast and we bring it up, bring a bit more contrast, maybe bring it down. I want to see I want to see sort of white in the face areas like that and then like a little bit of darkness on the teeth. We're basically creating a high contrast image that will translate well into half tone. So there we are. We've got a, an image of Stan Lee. Now we come up to filters and we go to pixelate, color half tone, and we need to set a few things here. Crabwood alien face, the angle being used for the lines was 45 degrees. 45 degrees. So we set all of these to 45. And we set the max radius to uh, 20 or 30 pixels. Let's try. Um, Let's try 20 pixels. Okay, now we've got a picture there, which if we zoom in, we'll see we've got a number of dots. So let's let's have a little look at um, how many dots exactly we've got. Let's count them. So coming across the top line, we say 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10, 11, 12, 13. Right, this is, I put too many dots in, so we've got to move our, uh, let's go back to the original. Let's go up to um, pixelate, color halftone, and turn it up to 30 and see what we get. Uh, 30 looks a bit better. Let's count them across from left to right. 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10, 11, 12, 13, 14, 15, 16. Still a little bit high res, actually. It's still a bit high res. So let's um, pixelate it up to 40. Okay. Ah, that's more like it. That's more the business. Now then, with our picture here of the alien face, what we're going to do is we're going to actually choose sizes of circles ranging from 5, 4, 3, 2, 1. 5 being the largest, 1 being the smallest. So these little specky dots over here, they're going to be 1's. They might be 2's, that might be a 3, then that might be a 4, and this is definitely a 5. So I've got one that I did earlier on, I'm just going to call up the image for you and we'll work through it. So uh, picture 1. Now what I've done is I've cropped an area of Stanley's face, so I've basically gone in on an area like this and I've said, right, we're going to crop in quite close, like the Crabwood Alien. So crop in there and cut the image off. So we crop it down. Okay, let's bring the alien face up. Uh, let's have a look. Not that one. It's this one. So we put this in the in the picture as well, so you can see at the same time. Now then, there's about 13, uh, 13 pixels across on this, this particular thing. If you count them here, um, which I'll, I'll do with you, you can go 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10, 11, 12, maybe 13, 13 rows, let's say, there's 13 rows. So with 13 rows, uh, you, you have to sort of get a similar amount on, on this on the right. But um, with a little bit of uh, effort, what we can do is we can start, you, I've done the layers here, so basically I can turn things on and off. So what we're going to do is we're going to bring the layers up nice and close so we can work with everything in the same picture because I don't want to be panning around like you're seeing it panning around at the moment. So okay, let's come down to um let's come down to these layers. I'm going to put lines. I've drawn lines in the field and these lines have to be put back across as you can see in all the different parts and I've numbered numbered sections Okay, and you can just keep on creating the lines across to correspond with a number system 
that goes up and down the edges, which I've done here. Uh, let me just zoom back so you can see. Hang on, zoom back. Let me ask so that there's numbers down the side here, and there's numbers up the side uh, on the top over here. So now you've got a pretty good idea of what you'd need to do in order to break down an image like this here, and it, that's a that's at a fairly similar scale to the one that's in the field uh, was in the field of crabwood. So basically, what you have to do is you have to walk into the it, once you've actually put your lines across. So you'd actually create lines all the way across the field, as you can see. You know, you've got straight lines. Let me use the straight line mode, and you create lines across the field. Chunk, you know, obviously not this big, but um, you're basically creating all these lines, as you can see in this image here. You've got all the lines that go across the field, and when you split it up into 13 sections horizontally by however many sections vertically, then you can actually start to put in the circles, and it's literally it's, you're just copying. You're copying row one, uh, you know, row one, column one. Yeah, and then it's row two, column two, row three, column three, row four, column four, row five, column five, row six, column six. Okay, and if you wanted to go um, row six, column seven, or row, you know, it's like um, column, sorry, is across the top, rows are down the side. But, you know, basically you sort of go like one, two, three, four in, and you're eight down. Yeah, or you go one, two, three in, and you're ten down. And you basically match the the sizes to the circles and you work systematically it's probably best to start in the top left work your way across to the top right and then come and just jig anything afterwards but as you can see if you stand back from the screen if you stand back away from it and look you will see the uh the actual image looks a lot more like the uh face that we had for stan lee which is over here and you know it kind of you're kind of getting an idea of, of what it would be like. So, that's how I reckon the crabwood alien face, um, or human face, whichever you prefer, the face, somebody that's got dark glasses on, or a grey alien face, whichever you prefer, um, how that would be easy to achieve.